Hello and welcome. I am Sinder, and this is episode 6 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Picking up where we left off at the end of episode 5. Lost out in the middle of a forest of pine trees. Found another pit of lava. Found a ravine with some lava pouring into it. But I have no idea where my house is located, so this is going to be one extremely long journey of not knowing where I'm going. However, I am just going to follow the sun east, even though I have no idea which direction to go. And I am just shearing sheep along the way. Now, I see a big mountain there. And a huge mountain over there. I officially have no idea where I am. I know that I am positioned somewhere in the snow biome for my house, and currently, but it doesn't look like the snow biome's over there, so that's not the right way. Um, I'm still seeing no indicators of where I was, which means I really, really went far through that cave, and finding my way out is going to be a complete pain. But I'm going to keep looking, and... I made, you know, shears at the end of the last episode, so why not just clip these sheep on the way there? I do have plans to make plenty of stuff out of wool, so why not collect any free wool that's there? Especially considering I don't think my spider spawner was working as intended. And another big hole. There's light down there. Which leaves me very intrigued. I must know. Um, I'm actually using, uh the pirate speak language now partly for the font that's used for it okay now I really have no idea where I am all I know is I've encountered some of my torches but as long as I don't do anything too stupid I should be able to follow them back but here I am going forwards no that's not gonna happen if I follow them back I should be able to find my way back to my place there's no way of knowing this is actually back, but just based on the direction the torches were going when I came in, I'm guessing that this is the right way, because the other one should lead me to where I came out, I think. Um, here's that big room where I fought a bunch of skeletons, I think. I'm not actually sure anymore. Oh, oh. Oh. There's my spider spawner. I don't think it's killing anything at the moment. I don't even hear anything spawning. Well, let's go drop off some of these materials I have. Yep, spawning something now. Too bad I'm not caring. Um, I'm going to drop some of this stuff off. I've got that other chest. Or two chests that I got from that dungeon. And I'm just going to place them somewhere. Um, I got a lot more redstone than I thought I did. And that's actually a really good thing. Got some gold ore that I'm not too worried about. The, the pirate speak language has some really cool things. Like this. Iron ore! And then, like, the buckets are called pails. But the, but the font. Uh, I much, much like the font over the uh, the previous one. Um, it's just a lot smaller, and yeah, it just feels a lot less intrusive. But um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. I do know I've got way more buckets than I could ever need. J just just to put this in perspective, I'm gonna open up this chest and pull out these buckets, and I'm gonna put all the buckets in one chest. Now keep in mind, I got all of these buckets from dungeons. I didn't craft a single one of those. Which just seems completely unnecessary to me. Um, I do want to find a way to... Well, I need to go see if the spider spawner is working right, because the other ones were trying to track me, and I wasn't trying to deal with them at the time. And I am going to need to build a real house at some point, which... Let me just get some of the stuff more. I got enough mossy cobble that I could actually build like a small temple at this point, which is pretty crazy. And I wasn't even trying to pick up iron, and I have a good bit of that now. Yeah, look at that. 
Um, this episode's not going so great, and, like, the time's passing pretty shortly, so I'm not really doing a whole lot, for one. But I really need to see if the spider spawner's working. Because, well, the spawner's working, but I need to see if the killing part of it works. There's a piece of string down here. Okay, it turns out I won't be able to... Th th that won't work. The, uh, half slab. But... I think spiders are dying. I honestly can't really tell. I'm gonna place that there, just to make sure I don't transfer any of the light in. I suppose we'll eventually push each other to the point of drowning, anyhow. I just wanna... I know some wool came out, so I do know it can kill them. They're probably just not dropping far enough for to effectively kill them, just by trapping them from the draw. Or maybe the AI was changed, I'm not entirely sure on that, but... I do know that they should... Oh, there's definitely spiders in there. And it sounds like they're dying. This is a very boring way to see me play Minecraft, just sitting in a hole listening to spider sounds. But, what are you going to do? Um... I'll worry about this at a later point. If I ever get too worried about it, I'll just manually kill spiders repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again. And probably just speed it up. It, it, it'd kind of be like a crude XP farm, but that's not why I'd be doing it. I'd be doing it for the uh, string to make wool. But I'm going to go up and thankfully it's daytime and I'm just going to murder me a bunch of trees. Um... I was going east before, which means, based on this, I was going the wrong way to get back to my place. So that doesn't help things at all. And now that I know, it shouldn't be a problem, but I was going the completely wrong way, and it was just some kind of save by Minecraft that gave me that uh, cave that led me right back to my torches and allowed me to fix that problem. I didn't go that far, so if I would have just walked back on my own instead of trying to do some kind of crazy surface walking stuff, it wouldn't have, it would have went a lot better. But I didn't, and it was bad. And then the game decided that I was an idiot, and it, it threw me a little bit of assistance. Um, I don't have any dirt on me, but I can use this sand because it'll break just as quick. And I am going to need to get some of that, just because glass is good. Um, I, I have a very elaborate idea for the the spider spawner trap. And, I mean, I could just crush them to death, I suppose. But, that that's not the idea. That just randomly happened as an idea. It's a good one. But, it's actually not really a good one because the whole crushing process would be very inconsistent unless I powered it using some kind of crazy setup which the last time I tried that it didn't work out then again I see you there then again the last time I tried doing something crazy like that I was using water and it just it just didn't work it was a bad idea that I never should have tried um, okay, I've got some wood, and a dark spot, um, trying to think, okay, I'm just gonna use the wood, and the iron, and the redstone, and I'm just gonna craft me some fun, as soon as I know what I'm doing, um, I think I'm gonna do this using, yeah, I'm gonna make eight. Anybody that knows what I'm already making knows, and they already know that I've screwed that up royally. Partly because I don't have one of the core components. Go me. 
Um, great. Now I gotta put these things back in here. But I am going to make some failure, apparently. But no, I'm making some pistons. Because I made a test of these one time, and I found out they can do something very, very interesting. And I'm probably going to want to cook up some smooth stone. I'm going to need a lot more than that. I'll just throw this 32 in there, and that should end up being enough. Fine. Go there. See if I care. I've already managed to collect a large iron bullion. What a nifty name for it. The the pirate speak stuff has a lot of crazy names for some of the stuff. I mean, like, zombie flesh is spoiled meat, which actually kind of makes sense to me. Um, but, oh. Cocoa beans. I could now make infinite wool by dyeing a sheep. That is, if I want browned brown colored wool which I don't think I do so I'm not going to worry about that but I'm going to do a very elaborate setup that is completely unnecessary and a complete waste on the, uh, the spider thing but I, I, I've wanted to do it just because so I think I will however I don't even know if I have all the materials to even try that at the moment. But, uh... I'm going to find out. And I'm going to run out of... Uh, I'm going to need a lot more than that. And I'm probably going to need more redstone unless I use it very sparingly. But... What? Oh, you... You... Just, just you. Oh god. Now I'm starving to death too. Oh god. Wheat, wheat, the wheat's on me. Got a piece of bread on me too. Need a wheat farm. I'm gonna make one. I've officially decided I'm making a wheat farm. this was hard mode, I would have just barely survived. But I'm going to make a wheat farm. And where am I going to make it? I think I'm going to make it down here, just because I don't want things trotting all over my stuff. And it's going to be nothing too big. Just a very minor wheat farm. Um, 16 wheat total. Because I'm just going to build it back through here. And just trying to. The, if you haven't. Actually, what am I doing? I didn't want that. I was going to put it up higher. I really should just make this an automatic wheat farm since I have the piston. Should actually be really easy to do. Automatic wheat farm sounds like a really good idea to me, actually. Never made one before. And I have a feeling I'm going to have a reoccurring problem of lack of redstone. But, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Other than poorly. You know, just to, uh, I just want to do this proof of concept, because I've never actually made an automatic wheat farm before. So, just out of proof of concept, like, I know it works. I know I have to replant it manually, so it's not fully automatic, but I'm going to just build this now. That is, apparently, once I figure out what exactly I'm doing. Oh, that can't be there. Actually, it doesn't need to be either. 
You know, I'm just gonna leave that open like that. It's completely ridiculous and sh shouldn't be, but I'm just gonna leave that open like that. Oh, and I need dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Dort. Or filth. Actually, like that. It's not, it's not dirt, it's filth. Which reminds me of another group of people that play Minecraft. They're called the Hat Ventures. And, uh, they're another good thing, and they have a nifty little song about building a filth bridge. But, uh, that's neither here nor there. And, hole! A mini cave that links to another cave that ends. But now it's in my way. But it has iron. Must have iron. And I shouldn't be digging up because my luck one of these times I'm going to do that and I'm going to dig right into that lava pit on the surface. And I definitely am in huge need of coal at the moment so I'm going to mine this all out. I, I made those three iron tools and because, or three iron picks, maybe it was four, I don't remember anymore, but they've uh, lasted a good long while because of the fact that, uh, yeah, they're iron, not stone, and I'm not exactly trying to mine out a whole lot, so I don't really have to worry too much, but, uh, put a little hole here, no, yes, yes. Yes, I definitely want the hole there. See, I'm terrible. I don't even know what I'm doing. Don't want the hole there. I want the holes there. And light. Let there be. Yes, I just did that in a, said that in a very strange way. I've, what? Okay, I apparently have no idea what I'm doing here. Now, I want this. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. I just looked and it's been uh, over 15 minutes now I'm trying to actually limit the episodes to what I wanted them to be originally so I'm just going to stop this at the moment well screw it I'm pretty sure I'm already over the time my last episode was incredibly over the time I wanted so for this one, I'm just going to not care so much at the moment. And I know that's not really the way I should be going about this. If I want to limit it, I should limit it. But, uh, yep. I'm not. Not this time around. But, uh, I don't even know if this is going to work as I intended. I need redstone need all kinds of things for that matter I've got redstone I've got torch I don't even need the torch there but it's gonna save me one piece of redstone even though it used a piece of redstone itself ah good worked exactly as I was hoping. I don't have a bucket on me. Now, I know that a piston will block water. And I'll be able to keep it up there. I don't know if I can place water past a piston. Okay. Now, for the sake of making sure everything works properly, I'm going to block that off. Oh, blocking off a spot that I didn't want to. I want to make this... Oh, I don't think I can do that. No. 
I'll be able to do it everywhere but there. I want to make this one higher because I want to put half slabs just above the dirt here. Well, not above the dirt, but in between here. Just, you know what? No. But I don't feel like filling that back in, so I'm not going to. But I want to make sure that water doesn't screw that up. Oh. See, I think the problem here now is just these chests are in the way. And I think I can place a button above chests, but... Uh, I don't want a button. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. And now the time is extended even further. So, because I'm starting to look like an idiot, I'm just going to call this episode good. And I'll leave you a nice little message of I can't sleep because it's not night time in pirate speak. This has been episode 6, and I will see you again in episode 7.